Yeah, hello, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Bilal. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about infix notation. So basically, like, you know, in this video, I'm going to just like, you know, show you how you can convert the in uh, the RPN. Basically, like, you know, the reverse Polish notation, how you can convert the RPN into infix notation. So let's get started. So first of all, like you know, if you if you see like you know, I've just like you know written down one question over here. Convert the given reverse Polish notation into infix notation. So these two notations are the reverse Polish notation, yeah. And now I'm going to convert these both notations into infix notation. So let's get started. So first of all, I can, I'm just going to give the heading quickly of solution because like, you know, first of all, I can, I'm just going to convert the first notation, the first one. So I write it down over here, the first one. Okay. Now I just like, you know, give the heading of RPN because like, you know, RPN represents two reverse Polish notation and the first reverse Polish notation I've taken is A, B, C, D, E. Then I've got the signs plus multiply minus and divide. <clears throat> now I'm going to convert this RPN into infix notation. Okay, first of all, like you know what you need to do here, yeah? you have to just like you know take the first variable from the given RPN notation so this is the given RPN notation first of all like you know, I'm just gonna take the first variable from the given notation so first variable I've got it a so I write it down over here a now I come back now I go back to the sign so if you see like you know I've just like you know got the signs only in the last in this notation so I've got the sign plus multiply minus and divide now first of all like you know I have to just like you know start to taking the signs from the most right hand side so if you see like you know the most right sign comes over here it's divide so first of all like you know now I'm going to take the sign of divide firstly first of all like you know I've just like you know taken the first variable from the given notation and now after the like you know I've just taken the most right sign from the given notation and I've got the sign divide now I come back to the variable now the second variable in this notation is B so I write it down over here B now I just go back to the sign so after division sign here yeah, the sign comes is minus because you know that like you know I just started to take the signs from the right hand side so that's why like you know first of all I've taken the divide sign now I'm going to take the minus sign so I write it down over here the sign of minus now I go back to the variable so the variable comes after B is C the third variable so I write it down over here C now again I go back to the sign so after minus the sign comes up its multiply so I write it down the sign of multiply over here now again I go back to the variables so after C the variable comes it's D so I write it down over here D now again I go back to the sign so after multiplication sign yeah the sign I've got it it's plus so here I just write down the sign of plus now again I go back to the variables so after D, the variable I've got it E. So I write it down over here. E. So now if you see, like you know, if you check like you know how many variables you've got it in the RPN. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here I've written down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 variables. Okay, that's fine. I did complete all the variables. Okay, now I just like you know check the signs. 1, 2, 3, 4 four sign okay first of all this sign one two three four so it means like you know I did complete the signs as well so it means like you know now I did 
convert this RPN into infix notation completely. It's very easy. Like you know, you have to just like you know take the first variable and after the like you know you have just like you know you have to go back to the sign and you have to take the sign from the right hand side, right hand side, and that's how like you know you will just like you know do it. It's it's very easy. I've just like you know showed you. Now I'm going to solve the second question. So again I'm going to give the heading of solution second okay again I just like to give the heading of RPN as well okay the second RPN I've got it A B C then multiply sign then divide then D then minus then E then F then uh, divide then plus now I'm going to convert this RPN into infix notation so I just like you know give the heading quickly of infix notation now again I'm gonna follow the same procedure which I did it in this one so first of all like you know, I'm just going to take the first variable from the given notation so I've got it A so I write it down over here a now if you see like you know now the sign comes over here firstly of course like you know these two signs firstly they come so again I'm gonna just like you know start to take the sign from the right hand side so if you see like you know I've got two sign over here so first of all like you know I will just take the sign of division why because like you know it is the most right sign now in this one so first of all like you know I will just like you know take the sign of division now I go back to the variable after a the variable comes up it's B so I write it down over here B now I again go back to the sign so I've got the sign after division it comes up multiply so I write it down over here the sign of multiplication now I go back to the variable after B the variable comes up it's C so I write it down over here C now I did complete until here now I just wrote the variable now I will just like you know go back to the sign so here if you see the sign comes up over here and it is only one sign comes up so there is no like you no know, right hand side and the left hand side so there is only one sign comes over here so this sign is of minus so I write it down over here the sign of minus firstly now I go back to the variable after C after C the variable comes up it's D so I write it down over here D now I go back to the signs I already have taken the sign of minus now I've got only, only like you know these two signs left so again I have to start from the right hand side so first of all like you know the sign comes up it's plus so I will just like you no know, write down the sign of plus over here firstly now I go back to the variable after D the variable comes up it's E so I write it down over here E now I go back to the sign after plus the sign comes up it's of division so here I just take the sign of division now I go back to the variables after E the variable comes up it's F so here I just write it down the variable F so now if you see like you know how many variables came in your RPN 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so here I just check 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it means like you no know, I did complete all the variables now I just like you know check the sign 1 2 3 4 5 5 signs 1 2 3 4 5 so I did complete my signs as well so it means like you know now I did convert this RPN into infix notation completely it's very easy I hope you understood like you know how you can convert reverse polish notation into infix notation and you know what the thing is like you know these kind of questions they can come up in 
your exam easily because like you know uh, last time like you know when i've just like you know given my exam so in the exam like you know i've got this question as well so it's like you know very important question here yeah? so i hope like you know you understood like you know how you can convert rpn into in fixed notation but still like you know if you've got any um question regarding in fixed notation so you can comment me and i'll try to reply you as soon as possible so if you like my this video so please like my video subscribe to my channel and if you can so please press the bell icon as well so inshallah till the next time i will just like you know come up with a new topic so until that time allah hafiz and take care of yourself